Not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand, life is good today. This episode of Geeky TV is brought to you by 23andMe.com. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Geek Beat. We uh, are on part two. I of threw our, you off, didn't yes, I? You did. <laughs> We're on part two of our Japan overview, where we went to Okinawa on behalf of ANA and Okinawa Prefecture. And today we're going to talk about Ishigaki. Yes, so Ishigaki. I is love an to say island. Ishigaki. It is fun, right? It's the most fun place I've been to in Japan, at least to say Ishigaki. <laughs> say it, people. See, didn't good that job. sound good? <laughs> So Ishigaki, as we mentioned yesterday, Okinawa is made up of, of 60 different inhabited islands. 160. Well, 160. 49. I'm sorry, 49 inhabited islands. 160 total. Get your facts straight. Ishigaki is one of those islands. And they have beef on Ishigaki. Oh, my God. I told you guys yesterday that the beef... The best beef I've ever had. No, I no. so want that Sacrilege. beef again. No. I know I'm from Texas, but... Still. It was very, very Ishigaki good. Beef. And to all of our Japanese friends, <laughs> your Kobe and your Ishigaki beef, delicious. <laughs> Murasaki Mura Village was uh, one of the most interesting places that we visited on Ishigaki, I think. So let's tell the story behind that. Well, it was cool because they built it like years ago for a TV show. Yeah. That was about like samurai and stuff like it was that. About the old times. They so spent it was set. twenty million dollars building a village. Unfortunately, this TV show did not take off. Very it made long. like two seasons. Yeah, so they canceled the show. Five years later, they donated the property to the city. Can you believe that? That's awesome. I know. And so now it's a public place where and kids and adults can come and learn all sorts of arts and crafts. They basically turned it into an art village. Yeah. It's fantastic. So people go there just to learn and to practice. Uh, they have the Okinawan uh, traditional karate there. There's a teacher. We unfortunately didn't get to see that in person. She wanted me to go get my butt kicked. Wouldn't you guys have wanted to see that? Crap, yeah. <laughs> I know everyone here would. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who didn't want to see that. But right. luckily, we didn't have time for that. Right. Well, so one of the, we actually did two different things. I built the sandstone. Uh, this is what we showed you yesterday. Are you going to play it for us? Well, actually... Please, no, we don't have time for that. Take a look. Okay, I have the drum. Take the arrow. I can... Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I had it upside down. <laughs> all right, insert it all the way. So we're going to put it and just loop it around here. Making sure the back sides are looped on the back side. And we now have a bridge. Hi. All right, I so learned how to play it. Um, this Did you make it? I made this. You made it? I made this. Look at that. I can't believe you I made know. it. I know. I'm so proud of myself. I'm giggly. <laughs> <laughs> my fun at Murasaki Mura Village. But just so you know, this is what a sanshin should sound like. Okay, well, she wasn't the only one getting busy. I... <laughs> Made a shisa. It's beautiful shisa. We mentioned we this about, yesterday. Yeah, what the shishas are, the lion dogs that are all over Okinawa. Uh, this is the little boy. What's his name? We didn't I, name him yet. It, it, he's yours. You gotta name him. I don't know. It, actually, you guys can name him. I painted him. You name yes. him. Yes, leave a comment below. Leave a comment below with the suggestion. He needs a name. He needs it bad, so let us know. Anyway... Everybody can paint these things, and here's how you do it. This is a little guy named, what's he called? Shisu. Shisa. Shisa. And it's a little boy lion, and he uh, 
He wards off evil spirits and he brings you good luck. My Shisa is done. I wish I was a lion. You do? Yeah, I just need a little lion chromosome in me. Well, maybe you do. I'm pretty sure you do. You get pretty rawr sometimes. <laughs> you know, there's a test for that. There is. You can go to 23andMe.com and you forward can get... slash Geek Beat. <gasps> forward slash Geek I just say forward slash. You did. I'm turning into you. That's right. 23andMe.com forward slash Geek Beat. All and, right. And yeah. you can get a test done to determine what your chromosome makeup is. You know why it's what called 23andMe? What your ancestry and me? is, what everything, well, everything to do with this body. Don't you avoid can the question. Do you know why it's called 23andMe? Because we have 23 chromosomes. Oh, she knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they will do a whole series of tests. They will run a boatload of tests and, and then, they will give you back 22 reports. So if you're curious about how this all works, all you do is you order a kit online, you get it at home, you take a saliva test. Spit you all over it. Put it back in, you send it off, and then they give you all those tests, which is pretty awesome. I, wonder, I mean, it seems a little weird, but... I wonder who has to do all the spit tests back in the studio. A scientist. Anyway... They only charge no. you 99 bucks for it. Just some random person? I'm not sure. They used to, That used to cost $1,000 and you get even less details. Yes. Now you get a full slew of information. I love it. You should do it. I'm totally thinking about doing it for me. Tell me if you've got any lion in your chromosome because if you do, I'm going to be really jealous. <laughs> it's, no, it's, it's just geekbeat. It's geek 23andMe.com slash geekbeat. Oh, okay. Get it right, John. All right, shall we talk about something that was probably your favorite spot on Ishigaki? Yeah, something you can't even probably even it's, pronounce. No, no, I was Kabirawan just, Harbor. Exactly. I was spelling it wrong. I had an extra R in there when I couldn't... Kabirawan? Like, yeah, that makes it impossible. Yeah. Kabirawan <laughs> Harbor. Actually, the most beautiful water oh, kind of, uh, I would say, islandy like place. Yeah, it's... White beaches, little islands, little tree-covered islands out in the harbor, clear water, oh crystal clear water, crystal blue clear. water. They had water, uh, glass-bottom boats, uh, so you know how clear it is if, yeah. you, can, if you can do that. Uh, the and sky the, that day was yeah. gorgeous blue. Everything with clouds. was perfect. With clouds. Yeah. It actually sprinkled on us just a little bit. It yeah. was perfect because the photos turned out really nice. Exactly. So you can see it's a beautiful place. And it's the only place around that has three stars in the Michelin Guide. Yeah. So it's pretty impressive. If you go to Ishigaki, you definitely want to go to Kibiruan Harbor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now go you got there. me all messed up. Thanks, John. Go there. <laughs> Another place that was really interesting that actually wasn't on the tour guide's uh, itinerary, but we yes. just stopped by. We did a we the, did one of these. Yeah. <laughs> the Ohama Tsunami Ishi. Uh, Ishi means rock, so it's a tsunami ishi. Um, tsunami this, rock. In 1771, there was a tsunami, a huge tsunami. It killed two-thirds of the population. There were 13,000 people there, and it killed two-thirds of those people. Bang. It's in the Guinness World Book of Records. Well, something. anyway, it picked up this gigantic boulder yeah. out in the sea and deposited it on land like actually, a, a long way. Actually, I the... think you showed them on video. I did. Take a look. Hey, guys, this is pretty fascinating. Around 1771, that water, there was a tsunami, and it hurled a gigantic boulder... This far, that is the boulder. Look at this thing. It's got trees growing on it. It's amazingly humongous. And out of a population on the island here of Takatomi, I think that's where we are, or is it Ishigaki? Anyway, one of the two. This uh, uh, tsunami killed like two-thirds of the population of 13,000 people. So uh, it's just crazy. And it's apparently in the Guinness Book of World Records uh, as the biggest 
uh, boulder that was ever moved by the sea, I guess. So just insanity. We also, we drove around the island for a little bit, um, exploring other things. We and did. at one point, we tried to go up on the top of a mountain because tried. we wanted to we look, well, we went up there, but we were trying to look down and get a cool view of the yeah. city. I wanted to take a, a view, a kind of panorama of the city. It was really cloudy that day. So I walked up there expecting nothing. And when I turned and looked, this is what I saw. I saw this magnificent view of kind of the mountains and the fog yeah. and this traditional rooftop, this traditional Japanese magnificent rooftop. It turned out to be one of my favorite photos from the entire trip. Good. So, and we also saw um, a, a bridge that looked like it was coming out of the trees. Yeah. It was really interesting, beautiful. I wanted to so, go to that. I don't know how we even got into it. I don't it. either. It was amazing. We didn't though. get to. Yeah. Anyway. Well, that is it for Ishigaki Island in Okinawa Prefecture. Uh, we had a blast. We still have more coming to you, so stay tuned. If you didn't see our previous one or our future ones, you know, take a look here. Annotations on YouTube somewhere yeah. around here. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up, folks, if you want us to go back to Japan or some other cool place. Or Maybe some we need to go place. to Korea yeah. or Hawaii or any other island paradise. Just because you want us to, exactly. of course. That's the only reason. All for you. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'm Kelly. I'm John. Bye-bye.